Sure enough, Pants Down was up, everyone. Everything you guys need to know, as always, will be in the description down below. And as you guys haven't noticed, I'm wearing this Egyptian silk, handmade by Zeus himself, built to perfectly caress the body, the biceps, the shoulders, the chest, with the perfect V taper fit. Oh, by the way, it's shirt off pants down Kenny KO. This is my merchandise. If you guys want to cop one, it'll be on enhancedgear.com. You guys can use my discount code Kenny15 if you'd like to pick one up. But oh man, David Lay, probably the biggest athlete in the fitness industry to really talk about because there's so much controversy. I remember back in the day when I first got into the industry, you know, when I was in high school, of course. It was Jeff's side, was he natural? Everyone was conflicting back and forth. You had the supporters of whether he was natural and then vice versa, the other side that was saying he wasn't natural. And the two would just clash and it would basically be like the World War III about to break out. I've been getting spammed with comments and DMs and everything about David Lay's recent transformation video he posted about five days ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch it real quick and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, I just finished watching the video and <laughs> the transformation's incredible. Um, to go from where he started, you guys can see how skinny and anorexic he was, to where he's currently at. But the one thing, the one, one, one thing that bothers me more than anything about this video is the title. And you guys can see it's not necessarily the transformation or the age range he did it in. It's that one key word which I hate hate on this channel and it's not that I hate it because people that are you know natural which is the word are using it it's the people that aren't natural are using the word natural and I was actually talking with a friend the other day guys and we came up with this concept I don't know if any of you have read the book like Fahrenheit 451 or not but I remember back in high school that was mandatory you had to read that and what we were talking about was how nowadays Fahrenheit 451 utopian society is pretty much present day Gymshark Utopian Society and what I mean by that is I feel like if you're affiliated with Gymshark in any way You undergo the strict code where you have to claim natural You have to post transformations and you have to keep hush hush about all the secrets in the fitness industry Because you're this perfect Gymshark Utopian Society and you want everyone to believe everything is perfect and that there's no flaws within anything So it's the Gymshark Utopian Society, you know, let's get this started guys I believe this is what's going on is we're becoming a utopian society where steroids and drug use and everything is just really frowned upon and really hidden under the scenes. And they're really, you know, as you guys have heard me preach and talk about so many times, is they're making lies for the people that are just getting into the industry, especially the teens that are watching. And I know it's probably majority that are like young teens, especially that watch like David Lay because they see his transformation from how young he is. And he's still young, he's only 19. And they think in their mind, you know, because they're young, they're gullible, you know, let's not beat around it. That's how it's gonna be. They're gonna think to themselves, hey, I can look like this in just a couple years if I train hard, work consistent, and buy David Lade's workout program and do everything he does. Now what people don't understand is he's always been lean, yes, but he gets so ridiculously lean while putting on size and he doesn't even eat like a bodybuilder. And what I mean by that is like, when you go into a contest prep for say a bodybuilding show, men's physique, classic physique, whatever division you're doing, you follow a rigorous diet plan to help get you down to that lean body fat percentage. And you know, usually you're gonna have the assistance of gear, compounds to help you maintain size. Now David Lade does everything that I just mentioned except for his diet is awful. I don't know if he just doesn't vlog it or he doesn't show what his actual diet is, but if you guys ever watch any of his vlogs or anything, A Day in the Life, his diet is absolute garbage. So the fact that he maintains being so lean now, and it's not necessarily his body composition that throws out the fake natty to me, it's more so his powerlifting PRs he's been hitting now. 
I've mentioned this in a previous video on David Lade, and here is why I can give concrete evidence of why David Lade is not natural, okay? Not natural. So the key word in that transformation video was he put natural, and obviously it's gonna get more views that way, and I understand him doing it for that reason. But like I was saying with the powerlifting, people are gonna reach very fast PRs. In fact, they might even increase their PR on their bench, their deadlift, or their squat every week if they're just starting to get into lifting. It's called newbie gains. Basically, you're still learning the form, you're still building muscle, and you're able to build muscle very rapidly because your body's not accustomed to it. But when you've been in the game as long as David Lade and these other athletes, and then out of nowhere, your PRs skyrocket. That's a huge indicator that yes, David Lade was probably natural, guys. I'm not gonna lie, he probably was natural up until about a year ago. And then I believe he probably, you know, around the time when these PRs started to just skyrocket every single week is when David Laid, I assume, probably jumped on the use of peds and gear. I mean, really, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys to believe it if you want, of whether his transformation was natural. Like I said, it's kind of like the controversy back in the day with Jeff Side believers and non-believers going head in head and causing World War III. David Laid is kind of that new athlete that everyone talks about and believes that he's natural and he's unnatural and vice versa, but there's really just too much evidence against him to say he's natural. But like I said, it's not that I believe David Laid wants to claim natural. I believe it's he's affiliated with Gymshark and he's afraid that if he says anything wrong that he will be dropped by Gymshark. And I know how that goes because I was dropped by Gymshark when I came out about everything I was doing. So I get, I get his mindset on that, but I just feel like he shouldn't address the question or even address the subject. You know, if someone makes a video, like he shouldn't make videos about it. If people question whether he's natural, he should just, you know, totally swerve and go to a different direction. Or if he's, you know, ever questioned about it, just don't say he's natural or don't put natural in the titles or unnatural. Like I said, just kind of don't address it at all. Because Gymshark, like I was saying with the Gymshark Utopian Society, they want everything to appear to be perfect, like the world is flawless, and you can achieve all of these great results in this magnificent lifestyle and look fabulous in your new joggers and your new stringers and your new t-shirts and your new tank tops and do it all naturally. And I understand, like I said, the athletes being afraid to come out and say anything because obviously Gymshark is a great sponsor, you know? You probably receive a bunch of products, you get paid very well because Gymshark is one of the top sales companies as far as fitness, clothing, and apparel. And they're pretty much gonna be at every single expo. So if you're an athlete for them, obviously you're gonna get a lot of advantages of being with them. So I get where that comes from, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to, I wanna be me. I don't wanna have to hide anything from you guys or anyone watching the videos or anyone you know who is around me within my life. I wanna keep everything transparent, 100% honest, because that is what my channel is about. So when a company doesn't agree with my views or my values, I'm not gonna work with them simply. It's just not worth it to me at the end of the day to put on a fake personality and just basically spread lies. But like I said, it's up to you guys at the end of the day if you believe David Laid or not. Uh, this might, this video might cause you know World War III, who knows? This might be the final breakout of what goes on. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys personally think. Like I said, everything you need to know though will be in the description down below. If you guys wanna cut the shirt, like I said, it'll be on enhancedgear.com. You can use my discount for free shipping and a discount. As always, make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. I know.